Guacamole, 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 guacamole. Oh my god, dork, what are you talking about? Before we started filming, I was dancing around, singing, guacamole. And I kind of had a realization that it's guacamole, like mole, like the sauce. So I went and looked it up real quick, and guacamole uh, originates in Aztec, in the Aztec, and the original word was ahuaca mole, which ahuaca is the word for avocados. So guacamole, avocado sauce. What? Yeah, I know, mind blown. How do you like your guacamole? What do you put in it? I've seen so many different recipes and I've had it in so many different ways over the years that you really can make it however you like. Definitely not the most traditional, but you know, do what you enjoy. I know everyone got really, really upset over a guacamole recipe in, I think it was the New York Times a few years ago, where they put peas in the guac. I don't know. I never tried it, so I'm not judging, and I'm very open-minded when it comes to trying out different variations on recipes. But have you tried it? Did you like it? I don't know. Growing up, I always had uh, avocados mashed with just store-bought salsa. So we kind of went the semi-homemade sort of way with our salsa at home. And then you saw last week that for the guacamole that we use in the seven-layer dip, that's just avocados mashed with mayonnaise and lemon juice and salt and pepper. And that's it. It's grandma's recipe. We don't screw with grandma's recipe. And then I have a recollection of guacamole at my grandpa's house on my dad's side. And I think he mixed cottage cheese in with the avocados. I don't re recall it being bad. I, rem I remember it being tasty but cottage cheese, it's an interesting one. So what do you mix into your guacamole? Tomatoes, onions, cilantro, lime juice, so many options. What do you do? Fish sauce. You would. First thing we're adding to our guacamole are tomatoes. You can really use any kind of tomato you want, but I prefer to use cherry tomatoes because they have less goo. They're not so juicy, so your guacamole is not gonna get as watery. You don't have to get rid of all the stuff in the middle that makes it all gooey, all the seeds and juice and all of that. So I find that they just work better, personal preference. So we're thinking of doing some gardening. And I just bought some cherry tomato seeds. So how would you feel about some gardening videos? I got some herbs, I've got tomatoes, I think I got bitter melon, cause we're Asian. I got eggplant, I think I have carrots and daikon. So, who wants to see my gardening fails? How many plants can we kill? All of them. <sighs> Next, we're adding in onions. A lot of the time you'll see white onions added, but I like using red onions just because of the color. They add more color to your guacamole and it's a nice little pop of like red and purple and all these different colors. So we're going with red onions. I've also seen green onions used. I don't know if that's just my family, but onions are good. Onions, shallots, just something, something to give that sharp bite. Next, we're adding in jalapenos. You can add them if you want. You don't have to if you don't like the spice, but we like to add them just to add that little bit of kick to the guacamole. If you're making it with jalapenos, use protection, kids. And by that, I mean put on your gloves. I know you wanna get cocky and not use the glove because you think you're gonna be fine, Trust me, I've done that and I've regretted it. I made pickle ha pickled jalapenos for Christmas last year and didn't use gloves. And my hand was burning for a week. 
an entire week. Everything I touched started burning. It was the worst thing ever. So use protection and at least put on a glove for the hand that's gonna be touching the jalapenos. I beg of you. Caliente! Arriba! Wait, what? Doesn't make sense. We are almost done. Last thing we need to add is cilantro, lime juice, and some salt and pepper. Do you like cilantro? Do you hate cilantro? I know that this is a very, very polarizing ingredient. And I actually used to be one of those people who absolutely hated cilantro. I thought it tasted like soap. I thought it was the grossest thing ever. I couldn't imagine why anybody would like this terrible, terrible herb. And the first time my husband, who is Vietnamese, ever took me to Vietnam to visit his family, I was picking cilantro out of every single thing that I ate. It was terrible. But somehow over the years, I've learned to like it. And I don't know if it's just that repeated exposure because cilantro is in so many Vietnamese foods that I just kind of got used to it. But now I love cilantro. I don't know what happened. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but it is possible. It happened to me. All the cilantro haters are gonna hate me. <laughs> so they're gonna be like, no, it's terrible. I refuse, I hate it. I'm never touching it, never. Hi. Hello. So, I'm here. We've got Mr. Producer Husband. Yes. AKA Son. That's his name. Yes. He's my husband. Yes. That's all I'm going to say. It's just yes. <laughs> yes. That's how yes. awkward I am. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and he's over here to eat. Yes. How, how much have you been drooling this whole time? Yes. Mm, yeah. <laughs> For four hours. That's how long this whole thing has taken it take that oh maybe three hours it's but, like but three. A, a really long time but i hope you guys enjoy all the the food porn shots he's like i need everything. the perfect we shots for all the things every ingredient took about five no maybe like half an half hour, an hour, to, hour to, to shoot <laughs> i was like guacamole that's easy it'll be a quick shoot yes and then son's like no no i not need perfect. the perfect we need to go shot. out to the grocery and get some more ingredient and make more food you just want more guacamole, Yes, don't you? I do, I do. It's delicious. Okay. Or at least it looks delicious. It's pretty colors, here. Yes, we're gonna try it. It's a, okay, so before we try, there's a lot of onion, and I'm kind of scared. It feels... Um, when we put it in, we were like, that's a lot of onion. It feels like there's... <laughs> I feel like there might be onion. a mistake, but... Mmm. Mmm. I like the onion. It's, it's, it's sweet. The onion. We went from that's a lot of onion to that's not enough no, onion. That's not, uh, no, I think it's perfect actually. I was really worried because I was kind of flying by the seat of my pants. And also. Are you telling me this is not scripted? You just making up recipe? I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm not actually a chef. Oh, don't okay. tell them. Okay. Oh, we'll cut that out. We'll cut that. No, but like these avocados, I didn't know if we were gonna have good ones, and mm -hmm. there were a couple that had just gone terrible and needed to be tossed because they were not good. Um, so I ended up using fewer avocados than I expected, and it was kind of like, how are my ingredients doing? And yeah. just like, oh, it looks good. It looks yeah. like enough. I I actually used way less onion because it. Um, I was planning on about half an onion, and I maybe used like a fifth of an onion for this. Um, but it's like, quite oniony. It's very oniony. The more I eat but, it, but, I, I have like such a uh, like very oniony onion breath. aftertaste now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's good though. I love onion. It's really strong, and I'm gonna regret it for the next six hours. 
That's trying all? to get <laughs> trying to eat other things, trying to get rid of it. But it, it, the in the moment, week. in the moment, it's really tasty. It's, it's really tasty. The jalapeno brings. It. I like how the jalapenos ended up because we we removed the seeds. Yeah. So it's not too spicy. Like it's just a tiny, tiny bit of spice. Yeah. But they're very floral. Yeah. So it's almost bell peppery. Yes. With a little bit of spice. Yes. And it's, it's really, really good. good. Really tasty. Uh, the. Do you taste a little cilantro in there? I'm not good at you know. I'm Vietnamese. We have we eat everything with cilantro, so you only notice when it's not there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it just become kind of part. It's of like it the tastes food. correct. It just yeah, it tastes it tastes right. Um, yes, it's it's really tasty. Um, I don't know about the tomato. It's a little. I let me, let me try it again. Let's see. Let me keep trying. <laughs> excuses. <see. laughs> excuses. Excuses. Hmm. Mm, I, I, the tomato. I like the tomato. Mm -hmm. I think the tomato is good. It is also a little bit sweet. Yeah, it is but sweet. But it um, kind of, it's the one cherry cooling. Cherry tomato, right? Mm -hmm. it's a cherry tomato. It's the one cooling thing mm -hmm. in this entire yeah. dish. Yeah, and brings a little bit of tartiness to it, to mm -hmm. the whole picture. Mm -hmm. So yeah, overall it's good, it's smooth. I think it's, we it's a little somehow managed tangy. the perfect amount of lime juice. Yes. And the perfect amount of salt in there. Yes. It's not too much. It tastes legit. But it's, We're in California and this tastes legit. Obviously, as a native Californian, I just automatically know how to make guacamole. Can we put that on toast? We're millennial too, so might as well. I mean, you could. All right, let's do that. Stay tuned. Bye-bye. <laughs> for my first ever avocado <laughs> toast. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that guacamole recipe. And if you want to see more of our recipes and food videos, hit that sub button and come back and hang out with us again. And if you want to see more of me and my husband goofing off about just about everything, check out our other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash sushi codes, where we do gaming, we have a podcast, we talk tech, we do a lot of more nerdy things over on that channel. So we'll see you there. Bye. Please subscribe. Please. Or I don't get to eat. I'm holding it hostage. See what happens? Until you sub. Subscribe.